Okay, here we have a Vino Temp wine cellar. And the customer's complaining that uh, it's not cooling. So we brought it into our shop and we checked it out and the compressor's not starting. So we're going to show you how to check the compressor. First thing you want to do is remove the cover that exposes, well first of all make sure the plug is out. Remove the cover, expose the start relay. Let me get a little bit more light on here so you can see. Alright, so here's the relay right here. And there's a little overload switch in here. So we're going to pull these off. Pull off the, the overload. Like the cell. We have two wires here. Okay, now this is an amperage relay. And the way this works is that when power is sent through this relay, um, it uh, has a plunger inside. And this is the start winding and this is the run winding on the right there. And it allows the power to run through both um, ports to engage the start winding. Quite different than a solid state relay. So in order to check the compressor, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could either put another relay on there and check it that way, which takes a lot of time. Or you can jump the compressor out, which I will show you how to do using a jumper cable. I use this cable in my shop to, uh, for various tests. So you got a black and a white. Now. If you notice the terminals on that compressor, there's three pins. Two on the top, one down on the bottom. The one on the bottom is the common, and the one on the left is the run, and the one on the right is the start. However, you may find in some compressors where the pin is on the top. So let me show you what that means. If the pin is on the top, use the sailor's adage, red, right, return. In this case, it's red, right, run. That's the run winding. This is the start winding. This is the common. This is a triangle. When you find an inverted triangle where the pin is down on the bottom, it's just flipped. It's inverted. So this is the common, this is the run, this is the start. Okay? Just so you know, that's how I remembered it all these years. In this case, this compressor has the terminal on the bottom, so the run winding is on the right. I mean, I'm sorry, on the left. And so we're going to hook up a jumper wire, which is basically an extension cord, with terminals on it. We're going to go from common to run power and then we're going to jump across the start winding to the run winding to get the compressor up and running and see if it starts and if it does then we'll check the amps. Okay so now we've got one terminal this is the common this is the run. When we plug this in You've got to be very careful not to touch anything else. You're going to start from the start winding to the run winding. See if the compressor starts. And if it does start up, it'll run once you let go. You have to just start it and let it go. And let's see what happens. Take our plug. I can hear the compressor buzzing. Okay, now it's started up. The next thing we need to do is to take our amp probe and we have to check the running amps. And we're drawing 4.44 amps, which is way, way too high for this compressor. But you look on the compressor here. It's drawing six, the, the, um, 
Locked rotor amps is 6 amps. Locked rotor is 6 times the amount of the running amps. So that means if this locked rotor amp, which is 6, the running amps is 1. And now we're drawing 4.5. So this compressor is no good. Okay, here's another way you can check a compressor. And this is more geared towards a homeowner or maybe someone that's not experienced in the trade. Uh, running it direct and using a jumper wire is really intended only for experienced technicians because there's an element of danger involved. You're touching a, a piece of metal to a live wire. So you need to be cognizant of that. So let me hook up this. This is a Subco solid state relay and I've put these uh, terminals on here so that I can just clip them into the like this and we'll hook up our terminals and we know that the common is the center pin way down there on the bottom right there if you can see that try to get that in there that's the common and remember the pin is on the bottom so the run winding is on the left and if the pin was on the top the run would be on the right so there's your run winding here's your start winding And so basically that's how you put a relay on. It's a, you can replace the magnetic relays, the amperage relays, and then you can just clip this on. It's got a little clip on here. Uh, clip it onto someplace. It's not going to bounce around or move around in shipping. Alright, so it also comes with a little stick on uh, piece of tape so you can stick it away from the compressor maybe it's a little cooler but anyway for the purposes of demonstration let's just leave it there for now so that's hooked up and we're gonna plug it in and then we're gonna see if it starts and it does start but it's drawing too many amps you can see the condenser fan motor back there. It looks like a little evaporator motor, but that's on. But it's drawing four amps, and four amps is way too high. I mean, even a third horsepower compressor only about runs about three amps, three and a half amps. So there's definitely something wrong inside the compressor. Probably the piston or something is friction, and it's drawing in more power. In a while, this thing will start to overheat, and then it will kick out of the circuit. Well that's how you put a relay on and it's kind of a quick way to uh, check a compressor. Always check the amperage.